Hey guys, it is Saturday and it's weigh day! Woohoo! So I got on the scales and I maintained. So not horrendous, but not great, but I'm not surprised. I didn't make the best choices because I hadn't been feeling the greatest, which was not the best ideas I've ever had. But when you're feeling kind of rubbish, sometimes you just need comfort food. Not that I'm making it okay, I'm kind of rationalizing in my head. I should probably shut up. It was good that I was able to just like draw a line under it after Thursday's ice cream incident and on Friday get straight back on it, which was brilliant. And I feel really good for doing that. And it paid off in a way, I guess, because it was only a maintain and it wasn't a gain, so yay. Today, I've started the day with some delicious bran flakes, which is obviously a great way to use up your Healthy Extra B and some of your Healthy Extra A. For lunch today, don't really know what we're gonna have. Pizza is always out there on a Saturday. I'm always feeling a pizza on a Saturday. And what I might do is actually make a Slim and Wild Friendly one and use my Slim World Friendly like dough recipe and do that instead. Or I might even make a chicken based pizza. I've got some chicken out. That's actually quite a good idea too. If you want a recipe for my pizza dough recipe, check out the link in the description below and up here. I might actually do some cooking later. Looking through the Pinch and Arm recipe book three, there's some other recipes that I'd really like to try. Also, I'm trying to get some inspiration for recipes for the rest of the week. I'm gonna have a peruse through some of my other recipe books and online to see if I can get some inspiration for what we've got in the house at the moment. I hope your way day was fabulous and that you're doing well. Drop me a comment below and let me know how you're getting on. I'd really love to hear from you guys and any of your tips and tricks you use to stay on plan or let me know what's worked really well for you in the last week. I'd really love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with all my yummy recipes and my vlog journey. Hey guys, it's Sunday. No, makeup Sunday. And today we're having a very good, nice, family chill day. We got the fire on, I got Breezy Bum snuggled up next to me, watching some crime documentary on Netflix. It's fabulous. So for breakfast today, I just had some mushrooms and some scrambled eggs, which was great. Then for lunch, I just had some of my tomato soup that I made. Um, I made this ages ago, made a nice big batch, did my usual portion it out, put it in the freezer situation. And I pulled some out this morning when I was making breakfast. And I just had that, it was really good. And what's even better, it's totally filling, really warm in when it's snowy outside. For tea this evening, Aaron's actually made us a big stew, which is amazing and it smells incredible. I cannot wait to eat it. Full of loads of veg, mushrooms, all kinds of stuff. So that'll be delish. I cannot wait to get all over that. If you want to check out some recipes for a Slim World Friendly stew, I've popped a link in the description below and up here. Also, I've put the link for my tomato soup as well. It's a really good one, super easy and totally delicious. So if you want to check it out, you know where to go. Hey guys, it's Monday and today I've had a great food day. I'm feeling really good about it. I was well excited about it, planned it. It's been brilliant. So this morning for breakfast, I just had brown flakes. That was quite boring, not gonna lie. Then for lunch today, I had some of the leftover stew from yesterday that Aaron made. So I just had that with a wholemeal wrap that I sinned, which was fabulous. For tea this evening, I had chicken based pizza with some salad, which was delish. Did have some pepperoni like slices that I cut up and sprinkled on there. So that was like a sin for the pepperoni on there. If you want to check out my chicken based pizza recipe, I have put a link in the description below and up here. Then I've also, this evening, I made some chocolate banana muffins. I saw this recipe in the Pinch and On book three and it looked amazing. I saw it uh, like last week, week before, I'm not sure. And I had a go then. It was brilliant. I bashed up another batch today. It's great as well because you can freeze them. So I'm going to portion them all out once they're cool, bung them in some Tupperware boxes and bung them in the freezer. Then I've got yummy muffins whenever I need them. Who doesn't love that? They do work out as about seven and a half sins each, but, but it is totally worth it. They are yum. They're about 149 calories. Love them. I've actually got a cup of tea and a muffin on the go. I'm very excited. Oh, hi, P. <laughs> Good girl, you bought me a toy. Thank you. You can't have my muffin. 
Then, this evening, I've also done something I've never done before. I'm very excited about it. One of you beautiful people, Leanne. Hi, Leanne. You left me a comment last week to try frozen grapes. So, I'm doing it. Not done them before. Everyone raves about them and I could not not try them. So I actually had some jelly crystals, which is brilliant. Works out as one and a half cent a packet. Sprinkled them on some grapes. And I've got them in the freezer at the moment so I can try them tomorrow. I'll let you know what I think. But now it's Mask Monday. Doing a Mask and Mask Monday. So this week I'm gonna be doing a peel off mask, which is always fun because it always reminds me of when you're a kid and you used to cover your hand in PVA glue when you were like at art class and peel it all off. It's kind of the same, just on your face. Today I'm gonna to be doing the Monica Honey Peel Off Mask. I've done a peel off one before and like I said, it's really fun, but I've not done this one before. I love anything like honey related. I love bees. So yeah, let's give it a go. The instructions. Clean and dry your face. Empty entire sachet and apply a thick layer onto the skin. Leave mask to work until it's dry or it won't work. Obviously it's gotta be dry to peel it off and then peel it off. Shows about 20, 25 minutes. So we're gonna give it 20 to 25 minutes and see, well, until it's dry. Right, so first I better get this old face off, ready to put new one on. Face clean, hair out the way, ready to go. Oh my gosh. It literally smells just like honey and jasmine. That smells amazing. <gasps> it smells like you could eat it. I won't though. I've got my trusty spatula thing out as well uh, to scoop it out because I feel like this might go everywhere. Okay, it's not, I thought it would be quite runny, it's not. It's very yellow. So it says to put quite a thick layer on, so I'm gonna do that. And we're done. So I've tried to get it quite evenly spread everywhere and I've used it all, nothing left. This was super helpful, otherwise I would have been like covered in it. It's really sticky. Okay, so now it's on. I'm just gonna leave it for 20 to 30 minutes until it's all like dried and then the fun begins. So it's really dry and my face, I can hardly move it, it's so dry. And what's weird is Look. Ooh. It's all like coming off. So let's peel it off. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna get a mirror so I'm not. Amazing. Ta da! It has been fully removed and my skin feels lush. And I have to say, I loved it. It smells brilliant. I love it, I could sniff it all day. It was really easy to use as long as you had like a spatula thing. I think it would be extremely messy if you were just trying to like put it on using your hands. Yeah, I really liked it. Out of 10, we're gonna give it a nine because it's cheap, it's fun, it does exactly what it's supposed to. My skin feels great. I wasn't a total mess. Easy to use, nice relaxing experience amazing not an ad not a sponsor just this week's monday mask hey guys it's tuesday and it's the end of the day and it's been a day so work was extremely stressful and yeah not great but food wise been pretty good so today for breakfast had some ye old bran flakes which was great I'm um, using up that healthy bee on that, so that was fab. Then for lunch today, I had some carrot and potato fries, and I also did a Linda McCartney pulled pork like burger for a sin. Bunged a bit of cheese on there as well. Sinned that. That was actually really good. For this evening, I just had some leftover like stew goo. There was a little bit left, so I had that, and that was absolutely amazing. And this evening, I have spent most of my night doing a little project for work. So yeah, that was uh, funny <laughs> and different. So I did that and then I celebrated with a cup of tea and one of my banana and chocolate chip 
muffins that I made yesterday, which was fab. So I've seen that today. Overall, great food day, tiring work day, but it was good. Also, I've totally forgotten about my frozen grapes. I popped them in the freezer yesterday and I've not tried them yet. I'm not really hungry right now, so maybe I'll give them a go tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm pooped. I've just done about half an hour workout on the treadmill, which was fun. And then I've done like 10 minutes of yoga too. So that was really good, but I actually feel really good for it. So yay me, I'm gonna keep going and tomorrow do the same again, exciting. Food wise today, it's been pretty good. Bran flakes to start, nothing special about that. Then for lunch today, I had a little bit of my remaining chicken based pizza. And I also, I wasn't feeling that creative, so I just had some scrambled eggs with a bit of cheese on. So I was in the cheese. It was kind of weird, but actually the scrambled eggs were amazing. I loved it. For tea this evening, don't really know what I'm gonna have. I'm not feeling hungry right now. I might just have some snacky bits and bobs like bit of ham or cheese, maybe some nuts and some the nuts. We'll see. Also today I had a little delivery arrive, my order of the Manoa Marsh collection. I bought some more bars, I bought some of the whip stuff and I also bought a couple of packets like share bags. I'm very excited about it. Anyway now I've got to go and get today's video up and today's video is for mini jacket potatoes. These are amazing. I make these quite a lot especially in the spring summer barbecue season. They're a really good size they're really good to have like a, a, a barbecue as like a picky bit you can use them as canapes you can use them as a starter they're amazing and really easy really quick and totally sin free so if you want to check out the video for that I've put a link in the description below and up here hey guys it is Thursday and I'm just having a little break from work and I thought I'd treat myself to a little bar I'm having this one I'm very excited it is the mallow and marsh chocolate marshmallow bar coated in milk chocolate i don't know if you guys have tried these before but oh my gosh they're so good the sim value on them not that bad either and for like an afternoon treat with a cup of tea or as a pudding they're fabulous so this particular bar is six and a half sins which sounds like a lot but these bars are actually really big and super sweet so if you're like me and really need a sweet craving I tend to grab one of these I really love the fiber one birthday cake bars too but at the moment I'm all about marshmallow let's give it a go mmm it's really good so thick mmm so chocolatey I love it if there are any other good like sweet snacks that is something a bit different drop me a comment below I'd love to hear about them Mmm, but for now, I'm just gonna eat marshmallow. Hey guys, it's Friday and today I got to finish work a little bit early because I did some extra hours in the week. So I am this evening cooking an amazing yummy Chinese. I'm actually gonna do crispy chili beef. It's a recipe that I've done before and put on the channel. It's super easy, really low sin and absolutely delicious. So I'm having that with some rice. And if you want to check out that recipe, I've put a link in the description below and up here. It's going to take me a while to cook that, so I'm quite excited to be pottering around the kitchen. Today, for breakfast, I kept it really simple. I just had some oats and some fruit, which was great. Brilliant way to use up a healthy extra B and some of your A. For lunch today, what I did was I had um, some chicken with some Frank's buffalo sauce on, which is super low sin and amazingly spicy and delicious and then a sprinkle of cheese, which was the rest of my healthy extra A, and then I just had some salad with it. Not gonna lie, was yum. Really good, it was like a uh, buffalo chicken salad extraordinaire thing. It was great, loved it. That's kind of my food for today. This week's been kind of good. I've had some good food. I've had a nice variety of stuff this week, which has been brilliant. So fingers crossed for Way Day tomorrow and good luck on your Way Day whenever it is. Don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know what's keeping you on plan, what delicious things you've had to eat and how your weigh-ins are going. And on that note, I've got to get cooking my crispy chili beef. 